Well, good morning, everyone. It's good to have you here. We are beginning our Thanksgiving time, our Thanksgiving break, and uh, a lot of people have already started that, but we're thankful that you are here and that you are part of this. Let me explain just a little bit about this service so it makes you feel comfortable and makes you uh, uh, appreciate a little bit more of what we will do. Later in the service, um, we will be serving communion. Today, uh, since pandemic is over and all that kind of stuff, we're going back to the way that we used to do it. Um, we will have bread, and you will tear off a piece of the bread, and then we will have the cup. You'll dip it in the cup, and then as you walk away, you will eat it and then you'll go back to your seat. So there's no germs, no danger. We will sanitize our hands uh, before we touch any of this. Um, and we're gonna ask that you come this way and that you receive, and then you go back to your seats this way. And that will just keep traffic flowing so um, we don't bump into each other and those kinds of things. Um, so it's called intinction. It's a very common way of receiving communion. So nobody's drinking from the cup. Nobody's putting, eating, double dipping, any of that kind of stuff like that. So uh, it will be all right. Um, we want you to know that in the Wesleyan Church, we invite anyone who is a believer uh, to come and to receive. And so whatever your tradition uh, that you come from, um, you are welcomed to our table and to come and to receive. So that will happen later in the service. Today, instead of a sermon, you are going to preach the sermon. And the way that you are going to do that is, uh, but instead of a sermon, I'm going to ask you to get in groups of five. So we're going to, when it's time, I'm going to ask you to stand up. I'm going to ask you to to move about so you can get into a group of five. And then on the screen, there will be things that I'm going to say, share in your group uh, things that you are thankful for. So one of the screens will say, uh, something that I'm thankful for. Then the next one will be some person that you are thankful for. And then the last one will be uh, something about God that you're thankful for. Now. Here's the, here's the thing. We will get out of here early if all of you participate. And you don't want to be embarrassed because if we're all in groups, but you're sitting alone and not participating, then I'm going to come back and ask you to come up here and say what it is that you're thankful for in my little microphone right here. So that means you have to get really close to my face to do that. So... All of you need to find a group when it's time. All of you need to stand and share. <clears throat> All of you can do this. It's not a problem for any of you. So we will do that. Then we will receive communion. While we're receiving the communion, uh, the band will be playing so we can sing, receive communion, and then return to our seats. So again, you'll come down this way, tear off a piece of the bread, dip it, eat it, and return to your seat in singing. In the Psalms, it says that they came to the table singing, that they came into the, uh, to worship singing, and so we follow that today as we receive communion. So great service, very different, uh, but I think will be very meaningful. Let's pray. Lord, we give you thanks. As we begin this Thanksgiving week, we ask, O oh God, that you fill us with gratitude that you make us thankful people, Lord. And may we be willing to share that with others. Let us not keep it to ourselves, but let us be encouragers to other people to show your goodness and your love that we, that we might feel renewed and invigorated in the joy of the Lord. In your name we pray. 
Hey, good morning, everybody. If you'd stand with us, this is not only a time of reverence that we get to take part in today, but it's also one of celebration. So the songs that we're going to sing this morning are going to be a part of that. I know that the Lord is in this space already. And you want to know how I know that? Because there's been a wasp flying back and forth around us. So we're going to worship despite the distraction. And maybe like some holy hands will fly and, you know, catch a. I hope that happens. So let's worship together. the darkness and where was the darkness when hope was restored and where was the spare when my God split the shores and where was defeat when the Lord took a breath when he stood in power by the grave that he left nowhere 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 is the fear when my
and all the earth will shout your praise our hearts will cry these bones will sing great are you lord and all the earth will shout your praise our hearts will cry these bones will sing your breath because it's your breath in our lungs so we pour out our praise pour out our praise it's
It's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out our praise to you only. Great are you, Lord. Lord Jesus, we praise you. Thank you that you are great that in your greatness you decided to come to a place where you meet with us, where we're face to face, where we're hand to hand, where we are word to word, and you speak life, and you breathe life, and you are life. Your life in this place, your life in the next place that we go, Lord, you are it. And so we praise you and we thank you because that is what you have created us to do. And so, Lord, as we preach our own sermons today, would we look upon the places where we have said Jesus is here. You are here, you are good, your gospel is true for me in my life, in my family. And Lord, as we look to spending time with family, or maybe this is a time that hurts for some of us, going home to spend Thanksgiving, Lord, may we be thankful for what you have done. And as we look back and we see of the times that you have been faithful to us, Lord, may it build our faith today as we receive the communion that you have taught us so preciously to continue to do in remembrance of you. We love you, Lord. We praise you. It's in your precious and holy name we pray. Amen. You guys can have a seat. Our scripture for this morning is Psalm 100. Very appropriate psalm for us today, placed in, placed in the... Um, Psalter right where it should be, so we're going to look to Psalm 100. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. We have followed this psalm. We came in with joy. We worshiped the Lord. With gladness, we came before him with joyful songs. And now we get to enter into the rest of the psalm, where it says, enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise, give thanks to him. And so we're going to get to do that now. So in just a moment, I'm going to ask you all to stand and to get into groups of maybe four to six. So you're just going to stand around in groups of four to six people, and then I'm going to tell you something to share that you're thankful for, and then you will share it in your group. And um, I would ask that you give just a slight explanation, maybe instead of just saying shoes, maybe say why you're thankful for shoes or something like that. My grandson, I asked him what he was thankful for, and it was, I can't remember, but it was a particular... Pokemon card VMAX that had a lot of damage power, and so he was very thankful for that. Uh, so we're going to give you that opportunity now. So everyone stand up, find a group, four to six people, and then we'll start to participate. For those of you that might have been late, remember, if you don't stand up, then you have to come up front and talk from the front. So you stand up and get in a group, or I come and get you, and then you talk from the front into the microphone. So let's make sure that everybody's standing that can and is in a group. Yeah. Great. Everyone's. So here's the first thing to share in your group. 
Tell your group something that you're thankful for. So here, you'll see it on the screen. Name something that you're thankful for. Go. Okay, I think uh, it looks like most people have shared. So just stay standing where you are. Here's some things that I heard. I heard somebody say that they're thankful for Thanksgiving break so they can go home and get away from school and see family and friends. I heard somebody else say they were thankful for friends and for family. I heard someone say they were thankful for the gym and uh, being able to go and work out. I am... Um, some of you know this, some of you may not. I have cancer, and uh, since May, I've been going every 21 days to get a form of chemotherapy called immunotherapy. And um, five years ago, they did not have this medicine. So I am thankful for scientists and for medicine that has given me a great chance at beating this cancer, and so I'm thankful for that. Now, name a person that you're thankful for. So a particular person, not just friend, but say the name. Name a person you are thankful for. Go.
Okay. Here are some things that I heard as I walked around. I heard someone say they're thankful for Michaela. I heard someone say that they're thankful for Dr. Tapper. I heard someone say they were thankful for their first cousin. I heard someone say that they were thankful for their mom. Matter of fact, one group, everybody in the group said their mom uh, that they were thankful for. I'm thankful for Jane. That's my wife. And uh, she has cared for me in uh, just an indescribable way and helped me so much during this time that I've been sick and has gone to every doctor's appointment with me and uh, supports me, loves me, even when I'm a scoundrel. And so I am thankful for that. So every sermon needs to have about three points. So here's the third point of your sermon. So now, now I want you to tell us something about God that you are thankful for. Something about God that you are thankful for. Go. Thank you. You can be seated now. Here are some things that I heard. Thankful for God's strength. So that when we're weak, we can be strong in, in God. Someone said they were thankful for God's creation. For all of creation. And uh, the earth and the sky and all that God has made. Someone said, faithfulness for God's faithfulness. Thankful that God is faithful. I'm thankful that God is a forgiving God. So that um, even though there are those times I don't do what he wants me to, or I do things that he doesn't want me to, that he is willing to forgive me and um, to cleanse me and to make me in right relationship with him. And so I'm thankful for that. Well, great. You got to hear a lot of people. You got to hear some different perspectives. You got to hear some things that people are thankful for. When we receive communion, uh, technically it is in thanksgiving. And there's a word that's used to talk about it that really means thanksgiving. So we gather around food, 
and we take the bread and we dip it in the juice and we eat it. And most of you will go home or gather with other people, family and friends, and you will gather around a table. And you will laugh and you will talk and you will share. There may be a little argument somewhere along the way. There may be a little tension in the room sometimes because everybody's got that one uncle, you know, that, uh, and so, but that's part of life. And as we come to the table today, and as you tear off the bread, as you dip it and as you eat it, uh, it's an intimate act of being filled with Christ and satisfied in him. Let us pray. Oh God, we give you thanks. We give you thanks that on the night that you were betrayed, that you gathered with your disciples. And at that Passover meal, you took the bread and you broke it. You said, this is my body, which is broken for you. Take and eat. And also, oh God, that your son took the cup and blessed it and said, this is my blood, which is shed for you. We thank you, O oh God, for these creatures, bread, juice, that as we take them, O oh Lord, we remember your great sacrifice and that we be satisfied in you. Consecrate them now and consecrate us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. is the body of Christ. These are the creatures now, the sacrament that we receive. May we take, may we eat, and may we be satisfied. So we're going to invite you to come, uh, I think, come down this aisle and then go back down through the center aisle as we receive. So, and the lights will come up a little bit so you can see what you're doing and then sing as we are doing this. We invite you now to come. Redeem a whole creation. 
you did not despise the cross for even in your suffering you saw to the other side knowing this was our salvation Jesus for our sake you God, we give you thanks. Make us people of gratitude, not only with our lips, but with our lives. Let us go from this place thankful to you and others for your goodness and your grace. Make it so in our hearts and our lives. This we pray in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in the peace and joy of Christ. Amen.